And at this point, troopers say that they don't yet have a cause of the crash that's still under, vest, under investigation. It could potentially take up to a year to fully determine. But as for right now, we're on scene and you can still see debris near where that crash happened several days ago. There has been a huge, deep impact for all of the loved ones of people who are involved in this crash, sharing their memories and legacies tonight. Investigators say their case into what happened in Tacoma near Highway 509 and Alexander Avenue Sunday could take a year to fully finish. As they work to find answers, loved ones are looking for strength as they remember daughters, sons, friends, and spouses. From former Marine Eric Sosi's service to his country and family. He never failed to, to stop by or to give you a big hug and acknowledge you. To Sarah Corner's kindness. She was like this bright sunshine. People just wanted to be around her all the time. Families say the young victims aged 19 through 25 will be remembered for all they did in life, like Javon Runnell's athletics and academics. Very motivated to get what he wants, to do what he wants. Lisa Esparza, known for her contagious laugh, and Felix Begay, remembered for excellence in sports and academics. We're still working to learn how a seventh person who was brought to the hospital is doing, and names of the driver and passenger in another vehicle have not been released. Washington State Patrol says there have been six fatalities on 509 since 2018, half of them at the intersection with Alexander Avenue. The city of Tacoma says the intersection will be restructured as part of an ongoing construction project. And thousands of dollars have been donated to help with the costs of memorials. A local airline has also volunteered to cover the costs of transport back to Arizona. Reporting from Tacoma, Erica Zuko, King 5 News.